All right, Jace, here you go, dude. Personal box. Thanks. So, Jason, did you have a house party today or what? What does one do in the Pittsburgh, the greater Pittsburgh area with a home game in the wildcard playoffs? Playoffs? Shiny things. Here comes a purple. Let's hope the purple is an auto. That would be very dope. No ink. But it is a purple to 250 of Blake Wall or Forest Wall. 35th overall pick. Purple Rockies for you there. Oh, and there's a Yadier Alvarez. Dope. Dodgers pitcher. Yeah, those golden black are in every pack. Two of them. These things here. These chrome vendings are like cheap with three autos in them. Corey Seeger rookie. Wish we get a Corey Seager auto, I'll tell you that. There's a Yadier Alvarez, Chris Ellis, and Ryan Williams. Followed by Chad Cool to $4.99. Don't know much about him other than I think he was drafted 269th, dude. Hogan, I got to pull you some... Uh, monsters dude i mean i know you like the camaraderie and hanging out in the chat and the fun and the trading and all that but dude i gotta i gotta pull you a monster dude so you stick around <laughs> to get some high high end stuff going for you so what if i bought oh, that'll be too much money but i was gonna say what if i what if i bought the ticket to the chris bryant tops party it's three thousand dollars what promotional value could I get out of that? I could definitely get $3,000 worth of promotional value out of it, but it's too short of a time frame. Like I could get a month of promotional value out of it, give it away at the end of the month. All right, so this must have been the non-auto pack. He is? That dude pitched? Oh, he's a pirate. There you go. I was wondering how you, how would how would someone know about Chad Cole? Come on, last pack. Auto. Eddie Julio Martinez. EJ Martinez. EJ Martinez. He's supposed to come up in 2016. I'm sure he'll be at Cubs convention next weekend, which I'm not going to be able to go to. I don't think at this point I might go, but it's going to cost me a hundred and 
I don't know, like $125 to go. And I don't do autographs because the lines are too long. I mean, they, they wait for hours and hours to get autographs. They just stand in this big room or sit. It's loud. It's hot. It's stinky. It's crowded. I just can't do it. That guy physically can't wait in line that long for autos. I can't wait. In, I don't like waiting in line at the grocery store if there's like one person ahead of me. Let alone waiting for autos like that. Whew, no way. Saltzman does. He loves waiting in lines. He's got his big backpack and he just stand, stands around all day. Um, Not at tops, I don't. Um, Hogan, this was your personal. Am I giving the... What are they? Rockies? Two chargers or what? No, but you're going to want to be here for the national. Am I giving the Chargers? Am I giving the? Well, I just wanted to double check, dude. I didn't. I thought I didn't know if it was or not. All right, Chargers rock. That's enough freebies for you for a week. You've already weaseled a couple freebies out of us. You are freebied out. <laughs> well, the autos are free at the Cubs convention. There's cut signatures in the Stratas, by the way. There's two cards per pack. There's an autograph and a relic. And then they mix them up like every other box, which we have no idea which these are. They both could be or none of them could be. They have an autograph Strata relic inside. But there's two cards, dude. And there's rivet cards. They're, they have the MLB logo on them. How about we do this? They're 60 bucks. I'll open one, you open one, Hogan. But we, we'll, we'll, we'll random or I'll let you pick which one you want. Oh, Oz, trust me, I know how that goes, dude. At least you didn't find out three quarters of your way through your mortgage that you uh, couldn't spend one penny and you had to put in more money. Just be careful trading on the internet, Chargers Rock. I'm sure you know that, but I don't trade. I just have a rule of no trading. It seems like every forum I read in or Facebook... It always seems like it's the trades that where the scammers go because they're like, yeah, dude, I'll send you this. You send me that. So you send it out. There's no transfer of money. There's no proof, proof of payment. And they just take your card. No, I just... It's just if you're trading on the internet, sooner or later you're going to get burnt. So I just don't... I don't do it. Unless, of course, it's with you guys. <laughs> I know. The cupboards are bare. Hogan, we're wiped out. We did it again. A full sellout week with these Stratus. Stratus. 
All you have to do is build relationships with a core group, and that's it. You don't need anything else. You don't need any other forums. I mean, you can go to them to, like, stay on top of what's going on in the card world, but that's my philosophy is I have relationships with a few dudes that I know have plenty of cards if I ever want to trade or sell or buy that I can go to and get from. That's it. And you'll see them on my Twitter. There's only a few guys that I'll retweet stuff for because I know they're legit, I know they're real, and I'm comfortable retweeting their stuff. So Cooley is one of them, for sure. So once you have a few dudes, I mean, you really don't need any others. I want to get a forum going, and I'm going to have a blog where guys can buy and sell and trade, but then I get nervous that there's going to be some people come in that are scammers, and then you know how I feel about that. Yeah, I bet. What do you want, Jason Hogan? Should we random it or left and right it? I mean, random it or are you going to pick up or pick it? I wish we had some shiny prism draft. That's what I wish we had. Oh, you want them both? All right, dope. Yeah, DMN takeover is good for sure. Yeah, guys like that. He's bought in this, my breaks before. Sports Stuff Hub, they're good. Well, Oz, as you know, I'm a real estate broker and I've shown hundreds of houses and sold. What happens is when you walk into that house with your wife, you will literally know. Sometimes you walk in the house and you're like, oh, well, I don't know. If you're talking about it, not sure. It's not the one. But you're going to walk in one and the one you spend the most time in, when you find yourself in there a half hour, 40 minutes, you're still walking around, you'll, you'll definitely know. So these are yours, Jace? I take it. I don't even look, but I, I trust that you sent it. I do like Strata. I just wish there was more to it. I, I've never been a big fan of two cards. Yeah, it's cheaper. I get it. But it's good mixer stuff or like a first 15 bonus. But as far as case breaks and stuff, obviously it's it's too tough. I like the cards. I like the chunky, plasticky, kind of thick. Ooh. Frankie Montas. I like the acetate cards. They are dope. Well, the way I run my business is very simple. It's literally, for many people, it's the hardest thing they can do. They, they It's so hard for them. They don't know how to do it. For me, the easiest thing is just always do the right thing. Just, it's very simple. Just... Always do the right exact regular thing and then you literally never have to worry about anything. If someone says, I didn't get my card, where is it? Or there's obviously a reason for it. A shipping error, an error on Nate's part or something. It's very simple. And you do that and you'll be golden. Very easy. Oh, this is dope. This is one of those MLB certified ones. This guy had a... Uh, he was super hot collectability early in the season, right? Rife Snyder? That's an MLB authenticated patch. If you look up that number, which is really small, you will see what game this jersey's from. I think they should use the picture to match the jersey.
No, they're not. That's what I was looking for. It doesn't appear to be. Nope. But it's a nice, very big, bold blue auto. Yeah. You'll definitely know when the house is yours. Like when we came to this house, we were like, um, that's our house. It's totally it. Factor in the agent's number ended in 222. I definitely knew it was it. Uh, Oz has been to this house. Oz has been to this break cave. Two years ago at the National. Weren't you, buddy? What do we got, Jason Hogan? We have... Oh, it's backwards. We have for you... Something... Something extremely dope! There you go, Holmes! Man! Wasn't I supposed to split these boxes with you? 16 and 25. <laughs> if you didn't notice, okay? Dude, if you didn't notice, I was trying to push the Stratas to the side because they're cheap. And I wanted to maybe have one for myself or do a splitter. And I was thinking like, ah, uh, you know, I really don't want to sell it, but I'll never not sell something. So I am so glad you got this. This is awesome because you were due, like I was saying tonight. I wanted you to get something very dope. And you just got a Mike Trout 16 of 25 on card MLB authentic. Um, What's it called? Hologram. Love that. <laughs> don't say that. Please don't say that. That's the grossest thing I've ever heard. You'll have to speak into the microphone. Does this not disgust you? And let's see what the final... What else is in here? Here's the other card. What could possibly follow a Michael Allen Trout? Oh, what? Oh my God! Get out of my face! Wow, dude! I had the same feeling. That's why I was like, let's split one, or maybe I'll, I was going to open them. I am so freaking glad Jason Hogan got some. Oh, how about a Carlos Correa to 99? Jiminy Crickets. That'll work. That'll catch you up on some stuff for some sexiness. Wowzers. Way to go. Oh, man. Yeah. Congratulations. I say congratulations. I mean, this. Oh, God, that is disgusting. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. It is. Way to go, Hogan. You deserve it, dude. You you definitely totally deserve it. You've been buying a lot of breaks lately in spots. And, you know, just I'd love to see that. I think I'll go ahead and tweet that out. I'll tweet it out.
Dope. Trout and Ichiro, here it comes. He did call that Trouty. What if he would have said Trout and Correa? <laughs> 